Hello everyone, welcome back to the MongoDB tutorials. These tutorials are brought to you by ZDAP Technologies and Services. In this video, we are going to basically take a look at the MongoDB tutorials and basically try to compare the features of MongoDB and the traditional relational database management system. The reason why we are covering this video is because up till now or um, uh, up until a few years just before mongodb or this no sql database was introduced everything was done through rdbms that is the relational database management system and the things were working out pretty well uh, there was no kind of uh, issues that we were facing or this we thought was going on but as we know the times are changing nowadays we are getting many things in front of us there are a ton of new discoveries that have not been done in the past they have changed the way through we uh, through which we surf online nowadays the things have become more connected we are getting more personalized recommendations we are getting uh, more personalized stuff to find and watch over the internet so one reason for this is that the traditional databases were not competent enough to accommodate those changes and that is why there was the advanced uh, advance of this no sql database so today we are going to compare these two and try to find out that which one is good and which one is not mongodb is new and popularly used database it is document based non relational database provider it is a hundred times faster than the traditional database but it is very early to say that it will completely replace the traditional database management system that is the relational database it is useful in terms of performance speed and scalability but the question is will mongodb or any kind of a no sql database be able to just replace the relational database if we talk about a relational database it has a typical schema design it has tables the data is stored in rows and the attributes or the columns are what are organizing these rows but in the case of mongodb or a no sql database there is no concept of a relationship so uh, we are just going to focus on mongodb and try to explain why it is a good fit for today's scenario so the first advantage of mongodb is that it is schema less schema is a structure so there is no kind of a structure in mongodb it is a document based no sql database that means that whatever values you have you have to organize them in a key and a value pair and doesn't matter if you have 10 values for a single key or you have no value for a single key no one is going to question you anything because there is no kind of a structure no definite structure in mongodb it is a document database in which one collection holds the different documents so if you even have your data organized into like different documents uh, not only in a single document but in different documents then also you can just work with mongodb there may be a difference between uh, the number of fields content and size of the document from one to another this kind of a difference is also accommodated well by mongodb the structure of a single object is clear in mongodb that is what kind of an object you are going to create what kind of a values you are going to provide to it and what is the type of the values that it is going to have there is no join concept or a complex join concept in mongodb for those of you who have a knowledge of relational database management system or have studied it might know the concept of joins and of course they are useful to us of course they help us in solving complex queries but still this is something that is not correct in essence to the database when we are organizing the database the only thing we are associated or we are concerned with is the uniqueness of the values there should be no redundancy but whenever we are performing joins there is a lot of redundant operations that we are performing of course it results in uh, 
extreme occupancy of the memory it results in a uh, utilization of resources much more than it is expected to do but this concept of joints have been completely removed in mongodb mongodb provides us with the facility of deep query as it supports powerful dynamic query on documents that means the data that has been organized in the documents you can just retrieve that data any time you want with the help of the particular queries so all you got to remember is the queries and you would be able to fetch that data it is very easy to scale and that is one of the biggest advantages of mongodb over the rdbms that we cannot scale rdbms that easily than we can scale mongodb if you have a column value like say comments so you can easily just make a list of the comments and you can just add as many values in it as you want but in the case of the rdbms you need to create a table called comments or you need to create a column called comments and then there could be like how many columns there cannot be like millions of columns in a table right so that is why mongodb is easy to scale it uses internal memory for storing the working sets and this is the reason that it is uh, having a high performance and the data is accessible very fast in mongodb now let us talk about some of its features uh, these are just some of the features that it is easy to use of course it is stored in a document like format so you don't need to have any kind of you know concrete knowledge of uh, the query language to just uh, organize the data or to work with the mongodb data all you need to know is how to just work with computers a basic knowledge of the computers and a basic oops concept uh, so that you can just store the data in a mongodb database it is light in weight Uh, that means its size is less as compared to the rdbms and it is extremely faster than rdbms so this is something that we have been discussing over and over now that how this mongodb is extremely faster than rdbms and one of the main reasons for it is that there is no joins existing there is no concept of um, relations uh, existing in mongodb and we uh, would not need a definite if structure to store the data in mongodb now the question is that where is actually mongodb used what are the various fields in which we can use mongodb so whenever you are dealing with a big data or a complex structured data or even if your data is not structured at all or if it is semi structured so you can use mongodb basically whenever you have a humongous amount of data and it is complex in nature then you can use mongodb uh if you are working with a mobile and a social infrastructure then mongodb is the way to go for content management and delivery so the content management and that is whenever you want to manage whatever is there in front of you you can just use mongodb you want to manage the user data that has uh, these varied fields that cannot be uh, organized together into a table like structure you can use it in the case of a data hub you can use it so there are these different ways there are these different features where this mongodb can be used okay so up till now we have been discussing about all about mongodb we have saw uh, its advantages we saw its features we saw where it can be used but what is the point of difference between mongodb or a nosql database and an sql based or a relational database management system so we can just uh, compare these two on the basis of three things or the three criteria these three criteria are known as the 3s of comparison that is storing elements schema and speed so uh, if we talk about the storing elements first of all in rdbms we have tables that are used as the storing elements in the case of mongodb uh, there is a document and the collection of the documents that is used as the storing elements if we talk about the schema the structure 
So in RDBMS, we have a, a multiple schema and each schema is used to create tables to store the data. While in the case of MongoDB, there is a document in which we store the data in the form of the key and the values pairs and is stored in a JSON or XML like format. If we talk about speed, so we already know that MongoDB is around a hundred times faster than the relational database management system. So uh, that is all for this video in which we learned about the difference between uh, MongoDB and RDBMS. Thanks for watching.